Hello everyone, my name is Siren and it was time that I would do a new tutorial video. Um, in this tutorial I will be explaining how I paint <laughs> a glowing effect digitally. And I'm really sorry for my cat screaming in the background, he gets really upset if I talk to other things uh, besides him. Uh, he always starts screaming when I do the dishes for example, so yeah, you, you just gotta deal with that. <laughs> Okay, well, let's get into this. For convenience, uh, I have already drawn the basic shapes and um, I'm going to paint some of the um, objects that I've drawn right now. I'm using a paintbrush that I don't know where I got, uh, so I don't remember where I downloaded these. I, I get a lot of questions about what brushes I use, but I really don't know. Uh, I'm setting the layer to preserve opacity so that it doesn't go outside of the shape and it just stays the same. I'm just adding some darker edges. I'm not adding a lot of shading though and the reason for that is because the object itself is going to glow so it doesn't need a lot of shading to begin with. I'm just roughly painting because I like um, rougher kind of drawings, rough drawing styles. I mean that's why I like digital painting is because you get a more texture like feeling. I'm using a multiply layer here by the way and I'm using the clipping group function to make it um, stay on the drawing that I'm creating now. I'm adding shadow on the little stones here as well because those are obviously not going to glow but they're going to be... Uh, the reflecting light is going to be on it. So I hope that's going to work out nicely. <laughs> Okay, let's add some more shadow at the bottom here. It's good enough. <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to paint some of the edges of the uh, the mushroom itself so that it doesn't have such a hard edge because I don't really like that. I'm gonna use a different brush for this. This one has a nicer texture for it, I guess. It's a little bit more. Um, Grungy. Once again, I don't know where I got these brushes, so if if you are interested in getting some brushes, please go uh, Google it and try to find out something. But I can't help you in that department. I am going to try to make a um, I don't know, like it's not like a tutorial, but more of a um, what I do in digital art kind of tutorial. I don't know, it's, it's more of an informational video with brushes that I have planned. Okay, I'm gonna add some light in the middle already and I'm just going to use a, a regular layer for this and I'm going to blend it out really... like, like it's barely not a shape anymore, it's just a little bit of light. I'm using the water tool for that. I'm going to do that on the middle of the, um, what's it called? Stem? It probably is some called something else in English. <laughs> I have no idea. For mushrooms, I mean, because it's stem for plants, but I don't know what it's called. When it's a mushroom, maybe it's just a stem. Okay, um, in this layer, it's still a normal layer, I'm going to set it to clipping groups so that it doesn't go outside of the edges. Um, I'm also going to add some of the reflective light on the rocks that I drew. And this just adds color, it does, this doesn't really add uh, any kind of light. But it still, um, it still gives off the light-like feeling without having to use special kind of layers for it. So I merged those again and um, what I'm going to do now is add a overlay layer and I'm going to use the uh, the same kind of orange that I used before and I'm uh, adding some color intensity using this. Now it's starting to look more like what I intended. Once again I'm adding the um, clipping group function. I'm enabling that. Okay. There we go. I'm adding
putting some on, f on the stem as well, not too much. Mostly on the edges. And I'm adding some of on the edges of the mushroom as well, just for aesthetic reasons. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Merging those again. I'm going to add some um, small details on the mushroom itself. I don't do this at the beginning because I like to do it towards the end, rather. <laughs> I'm always kind of experimenting with what I do here because yeah, it, there's no how-to guide for it, but I've drawn these mushrooms a couple of times because I did them for small designs and they are uh, in my wisp painting and they're definitely not actual mushrooms, you know, it's, they're not very accurate to nature, but I don't really mind my style is more of a fantasy-like style anyway I'm adding some more spots here and there mostly in the middle because the light is concentrated over there. Okay, and I did that in a luminosity layer. Now, for the actual glowing effect, I'm going to use another luminosity layer. And I'm... Yeah, you can see how bright this is. I'm going to draw all over it. I'm going to extend it beyond the edges as well because it's... It's creating light. And I'm gonna create another luminosity layer which is going to be slightly more intense, but I'm going to add a different color, which is pink. And you can experiment with colors because, um, you know, blue would also look really nice. I'm gonna show you what that would look like. Oh, that's a little bit too bright for me. <laughs> I'm gonna use a different type of blue because I think this would look nicer but you can also layer these effects and create different kinds of hues and colors but uh, I'm going to go with pink for now and I'm going to reflect that onto the rocks as well if there were any other objects surrounding the, um, the mushroom I would obviously paint it on there as well some more orange because there's also orange light reflecting onto them <laughs> and uh, with these objects I'm going to erase it because they don't actually give off light themselves they just reflect it <laughs> oops it's getting a little bit too close to the light of the mushroom so I have to erase a little bit over there and blend it out again okay now I have to erase the pink as well around the rocks not on the rocks themselves obviously like normally I would probably have done this a little bit easier but I just wing it <laughs> most of the time I'm blending it out a little bit again because I erased some of the pinks um, that were, I don't know, like the light aura around the mushroom itself. So that's basically what I do and sometimes I add more layers, sometimes I add more colors. And you can basically do this with any kind of object that you like. Um, I use these similar techniques for light bulbs and stuff like that as well. So the luminosity layer is just perfect for that. Uh, to create a little bit more depth and make it a bit more, um, what's it called? Um, to create an atmosphere, I guess, you could, uh, I'm going to crop it for that so that I don't have to paint the entire background. I'm going to create another overlay layer and I'm selecting a dark purple, dark purple, please pronounce your words properly, Laura, <laughs> and I'm using an airbrush again. And I'm going to paint around the edges, very roughly. And then I'm going to use the water tool to blend it out. Okay, and then I'm going to set this layer to a lower opacity. 
and create another overlay layer. I prefer to do it in separate layers, like multiple layers, rather than try to blend it all in one layer because you never get the effect that you like if you do that, I guess. And um, a lot of people say that blah 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 layer functions are cheating, but I think they're fun and um, really effective. And there you have it, that's what I would do. Uh, I would probably add more light um, if I were to create a new painting, I would, yeah, I would definitely add more detail and all that kind of stuff, but this is really the basic technique that I use for all glowing things and objects and stuff like that. So that was that. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I do tutorial videos as frequent as I can, but uh, it's really hard to come up with simple tutorials that I can put into video form. So if you have any suggestions or things that you like about my art and be like, okay, how did you do that? Please leave a comment or a message or um, anywhere really and tell me that you would like to see a tutorial of that. I also do speed paintings more often if you are new to my channel, so please check those out as well. And if you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up so that I know you did. Um, and if you have any pointers for me, leave a comment as well. I would really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more. That's always, you know, a common thing. Subscribing and liking really supports the YouTuber that you're watching. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.